Hello and welcome to another TrackMan tutorial video. Today we're going to go over the general setup for outdoor use with your TrackMan 4 and how to use both of our iOS apps. As always, you want to make sure that the TrackMan is as close to 7 feet behind the ball as possible. In addition, you want to make sure it's nice level ground, the same height as where you're hitting from. Now let's go back to our iPad and make sure we get connected. First we'll need to go into the settings app and then into Wi-Fi settings to make sure we select the network from our TrackMan. Then get back to your home screen and open up the TrackMan Go app with the black logo. Keep in mind this app is only available on the iPad. Next choose the shot analysis tile on the left hand side and if your iPad is successfully connected to your TrackMan you should be able to choose it here. Once connected successfully the app will take you to the target image screen where you can verify your target line and even make sure that the ball is inside the hitting area. Make sure to verify you're in outdoor mode on the bottom of the screen. You'll also notice the hitting area seems to double in size when hitting outdoors. Next, you'll need to choose a player and then the session will begin. The first thing you're prompted to do is to choose a club and here we're hitting 9-iron. As you can see in the top center of the screen, Currently we're on the data view where you can see all the different tiles and the data for each shot. If you click the settings menu in the top right, you can pick and choose which data tiles are viewable. And once you're happy with your selections, then click on the left side of the screen to hide the settings menu. Now that you have all the data tiles that you want to see selected, you may want to rearrange them. You may do so by holding your finger down on one of the data tiles until it starts to hover and then dragging it into the position in which you please. Another option you have is to open up the shot list on the left side of the screen. Now let's hit a shot and get some data. As the data comes in, you can scroll up and down and check out all your different data points. You can even tap on tiles to circle them, that way it's easier to view them as you scroll up and down. As a new shot is hit, the last shot's data disappears and the new shot's data starts to populate. Then when it's time to change clubs, you can do so by clicking the club icon on the top left hand corner and selecting the new club you want to hit. Now that we have our 7 iron chosen, let's change to the trajectory view in the top center of the screen. You can also toggle the full screen view by clicking the full button in the top right and you can even collapse the shot list on the left hand side. Personally, I like to have the shot list view open, that way I have a little bit of data while I view the trajectory of my shot. The next emblem in the top center of the screen enables the side and top views of the trajectory of our shot. Let's change clubs one more time, and then finally add a tag by clicking the tag icon in the top left. Once the window opens, I click add tag in the top left, and that enables me to input any custom tag I'd like. Once you're done, click the orange Add button in the top right, and then finally click Done. Now let's hit a couple shots. The cool thing about the shot list on the left hand side is that it can be used in a couple different ways. Originally we had it set up to show individual shots, but you can also choose groups of shots and even the data tiles. This can be super useful when you have the trajectory view enabled in the top center, that way you can still see all your data tiles. And finally, the last view we can enable in the top center of the screen is the table view. In this view, we can see all of our groups of shots and each shot's data. You can even delete shots if there are any outliers that may skew your data in one way or the other. At this point, if you're done with the session, you can hit the home button in the top left hand corner, which takes you back to the home screen. Here you have the option to resume the session, which opens the previous session and allows you to hit more shots, or start a new session, which then closes the previous session and saves all of its data to shot history. This will enable you to access that session later on, and possibly even send a report if you'd like. For more on how to send that report, please check out one of our other videos. But for now, let's check out how to conduct the same type of shot analysis session in our other app, the TM Golf app. It's also worth noting that this app is available on both iPad and iPhone. The first thing you'll want to do is choose Shot Analysis in the pop-out menu on the top left corner. 
And assuming your iPad is successfully connected to your TrackMan's Wi-Fi, you'll then be taken to a screen where you choose a player, and then a club, and then the target image screen. Using your finger, tap and drag the picture, that way the crosshair aligns with whatever object you want to be your straight line. You'll also want to double check you're in outdoor mode and the ball you're hitting is inside the blue box. Once you're happy with your calibration, click done in the top right corner. And then as soon as the status bar in the top left corner of the screen is green, that means the radar is armed and ready to track a shot. As we get ready to hit our first shot, you can see we have the dispersion chart on the left hand side and the data tile view on the right hand side. Once you're ready to switch clubs, you can expand the settings window on the left by clicking the arrow on the top left, choosing the club and selecting the new club you wish to hit next. We can also change the way we view the data by clicking the three dots icon in the top right hand corner of the window and selecting whichever view you'd like to see. On the right side I've chosen the impact view and on the left side I've chosen the 3D trajectory view. Now let's hit another shot. As you can see, the impact view on the right hand side of the screen has several different angles that you can view the data from, whether that's from the side, from on top, or from face on. And finally, let's change clubs one last time, this time to a 5 iron. And I'm also going to change back to my two favorite views, which are the dispersion chart on the right hand side and the data tiles on the left hand side. Then for ease of use I always prefer to tap on each data tile that I'm focusing on specifically in this session to add a red circle that way it's easy to see the numbers as I scroll through the data. Now let's hit a couple more shots. Now as you near the end of your session, I always find it easiest to go into the table view of my data and make it full screen. That way I can not only see all of the groups, but also individual shots and in all of their data. You can expand each group by clicking the colored arrow at the beginning of the line. You can even delete shots on this screen if you'd like. In order to do so, click the edit button in the top right, select a specific shot you want to delete, and then click delete in the bottom left. And finally, if at this point you're done with your session, you can expand the settings menu in the top left corner of your screen and click the stop button. This will then end your session and then you can close out of the app. And hopefully this video has been beneficial in showing you how to use both of our iOS apps. As always, if you have any other questions, please feel free to check out some of our other videos or contact our support line. Thanks.